Hello everyone. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my channel, my first video that I've ever done um, that's going out now. So I'm quite excited and hope uh, you'll stay with me and uh, enjoy what I have to uh, show you. Um, I want my channel to be about um, lovely, beautiful things <laughs> for a start off because I think that's what we all need in our lives. Um, so I'm going to have uh, videos about my home, um, how I style my home, because I think that's really important um, for us all to have dignity and pleasure in our homes. And I'm going to talk about uh, my pets, I'm going to talk about my plants, I love my plants, um, um, all of the things that are in my home that I enjoy. And I've got some changes I want to make around the home. Um, colour schemes, ornaments, all that sort of thing. I want to talk about um, hair, um, styling, um, clothes. I want to bring everything in that I think that we, especially us ladies, really enjoy. But for today, I was going to talk about some of my plants. So with that, let's begin. Um, so I'm going to talk about my plants today. I've started to collect plants again after some years now of not really having many, just a few. Um, but I've just sort of started feeling that feeling that I want to see some plants around me again because they give you such a lovely feeling. It's, it's almost warm. <laughs> in a cool way. <laughs> don't know really how to say it. So I've set this little table up and I was just going to talk about these few today that I've got. And um, I picked them up in local garden centres. Um, so I thought I'd start with the little peperonia. It's a little darling. It's called Bambino, but I think she has a proper name. Um, I've, I remember that the name was something Rosso. And if you look at Peperonias, you'll see it quite clearly. Its name is Rosso. <laughs> and the reason for that is because of the beautiful, if you can see, red under the leaves. That's what I think it is. It's a kind of, hmm, I don't know, like a deep cherry. If you can see there, it's like a deep cherry. And it just catches your eye as you walk around the room and glance over and it's got beautiful beautiful sort of almost succulent leaves but they're not succulent I, th I don't think it is a succulent as such but um, and they're they're just so lovely and they're they've got a little shine to them and they've got some oval shape and they've got like um, a beautiful uh, deeper green line going through them and um, the newer leaves seem paler and then they go just a little deeper as they get a little older. But this is going to get fairly bushy, which I didn't realise, but I think that that will be really nice. But when you see them this small, to, you know, they just, they just call to me really. And I, I've resisted the temptation of starting plants again um, for some time, but um, I've given in now to my whim and my need. My need is calling, so it's calling, so that's that. And anyway, that's the peperonia. And then uh, I've got this little one here, and I've forgotten what you're called. Just a moment. She's quite beautiful, this one. Oh, yes. Fitonia. She's called Fitonia. And she is quite beautiful. Just look at those little leaves. They're gorgeous, all those different colours, the lines. She's got like um she's got like a cream, palest of palest line, like a cream with um she's got like a very gentle, very thin, I don't know if you can see, deep green, deep green leaf, uh, line around the very edge of the leaves. Then she's got this creamy line, which is almost cream. 
but it is lime. And then there's these beautiful green, mid-green lines going through. You see that leaf there, how they develop. Quite lovely. And underneath, you can see all those little lines. And they're lovely. And she's, she's really quite lovely. I don't know how big she's going to get. I, I've got to look this up because I haven't had them very long, just a few weeks. And um, I keep telling myself I must look them up. <laughs> oh, useless. And, and find out all their needs. And of course, all plants need water. All plants need light. All plants need soil. But it's all, it's, it's so delicate, the, the slight differences for each plant. And if you don't get it right, then whoops to do, you've lost them. So, anyway, that one's got that one. I'm going to pop that one back on there now. And I've styled the table with the little ones at the front and the larger one at the back. And then there's this one. I'll show you this one. Now this one is called, how do you say this, Pilea, Pilea alumi, yeah, alumi, so I don't know if it's got a nickname, and it's a very fine stem, and on that, it's almost like a little tree at the moment, I don't know why, I think maybe it gets bushier though, I just don't know. And these leaves are just wonderful. Can you see them? They're like a, a light mid-green. And they've got like um, a purple line going through them, which you can just about see underneath. Gives a kind of little purpley glow underneath, which is nice. And the thing about this one, I had to buy it because it was so different from the others. It doesn't have a smooth leaf. Doesn't, there's nothing to hurt you, there's no prickly, you know, nothing prickly. Um, but it, it's like, it's like little bobulules, I don't know how to say it. And you can feel it like a texture, and you rub your finger along it like that. And you can see it as well, you know, it makes it stand out as a different plant from the rest. So I had to have this one as well, and she's quite beautiful. And I bought these little pots because so I was having trouble finding little pots everywhere. So I went on Amazon and I bought these and there was six of them for, I can't remember, it wasn't very much. And they're, they're white plastic and they've got little holes at the bottom. And they're just diddy. Uh, they're just, just right for popping little plants in while they're growing. And I thought it looked really sweet. So I've got another one over here. And this one I think everyone will probably recognise. You see a lot of these in the garden centres in England. And they're just, just beautiful. I mean, just look, it's lovely pink. Wonderful pale pink, I just think it's so lovely. And the other leaves are a kind of creamy colour with this lovely um, mid-green lines and pattern going through them and underneath or this sort of light mid-green kind of colour. You can see all the patterns underneath. They're really nice. I think these get quite bushy too. And their proper name is, I think it's Hypostes. I can't quite make it out. Hypostes seems to be. Very unusual, these, these names for these plants, aren't they? They're really difficult to get your tongue around the word. Um, and anyway, they're just gorgeous. And she's growing some little baby leaves just inside, if you can see. So, I haven't had them very long. I've got to learn about them. And as I learn about them, so I'll come back on another video and actually tell you more about them. But I do know that they need quite a bit of humidity and I at the moment have got them in my lounge. I've got them in my lounge because I want to see them. But it means I've got to be very careful, make sure they've got enough water. And of course, if you're not careful, you can overwater, can't you? So it's, it's always a question of how much you give them. So I'm forever doing a finger test to see, can I feel any dampness, you know, this sort of thing. But um, one or two little leaves have gone brown just at the bottom. Well, not brown, but 
they don't look too great. So I think maybe um, I've got to plant, uh, water them a little more often now, especially with the fire at night, because in England we're so cold in November, we have to have a raging fire going, or loads of radiators, and that really isn't that good for our plants, is it? So anyway, this is my, um, my beauty. They call her the rattlesnake. Um, I can't remember, I think she's a Calthea for sure. And, um, oh, just a moment, I think I have actually wrote it down, aren't I clever? Lancif... Lancifalia. Lancifalia. <laughs> I'm sure there's a better way of pronouncing these words. But anyway, most people know them by rattlesnake. And I think that's because of the pattern on the leaf, which is just beautiful. Just look, look at that. Isn't that lovely? But she's a calthea, which means that she's a prayer plant. And that means that at night she lifts these beautiful leaves up and you see all underneath this purple glow underneath each leaf. Can you see that? Isn't that lovely? And in the day, I actually see her lowering the leaves a little bit, by little bit, by little bit. And she's just fantastic to watch the leaf going up. And they don't go up that fast, but you can see them moving, so you know they're on their way. And perhaps a couple of hours later, you look again and all the leaves are up, or all the leaves are open for the light. Isn't that lovely? And the earlier leaves are a kind of yellowy colour. Well, lime, I suppose, you'd probably say. Oh dear. Miles, so here sorry. is your reminder. Give Alexa, her dinner. stop. We have an Alexa. And I love Alexa. So anyway, I was saying that she's absolutely beautiful. I really do love her. I love to see her moving the leaves. And the other day I walked up to her and she was shaking her leaf as I came closer. And I think my personal energy, my aura, and my spiritual energy was pushing up against her aura because we all have this electrical aura around us and the plants have it too and they say that the plants recognize their owners by um, your aura your energy as you come into a room so that's amazing as well and that was something scientific that was said some many years ago i happened to hear and remember how wonderful that was anyway so i'll pop it back here now and she by the way in case you don't know this i found out she's going to get very big very big. So I'm going to enjoy this little madam here and she gets bigger. And I put her in a, a white pot um, because I thought well I'm changing, brightening up my home sort of thing and um, I think that white is going to look nice. And I got that one from Amazon as well. And then this one is gold which I got from a garden centre and, and it was so bright. Look at that beautiful bright beautiful gold so I thought that would be nice some gold in amongst the white to break it up a little bit and a bit of reflection and that sort of thing so anyway there they are lovely so I hope you've enjoyed this video it's my first I hope you press um, like and subscribe for me um, because that would be lovely and if you put a few you know, mention a few things in the comments, whether you've got a rattlesnake or if you've started uh, a plant collection or if you know a little bit that I should be aware of for one of these plants. Um, and, you know, just, just tell me and I'll have a little read and see what you say. And, you know, maybe I'll give you a little answer or something. Obviously, I don't know how many's going to call and how many's going to leave a comment. But anyway... This has been really lovely for me. I've really enjoyed it. I've been thinking of doing this for a very long time. And I've got lots to talk about, lots to enjoy with you. So, love and light to everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.